A lot of the time when I tell people that I have a YouTube channel, they'll ask me, what do you make videos about? And I never really know how to answer that because if you watch my channel regularly, you'll know that I make videos about all kinds of things. Variety is the spice of life or whatever. <laughs> Mm. I think it would be boring to do the same thing all the time. I like to have fun. I tried to make this video the other day, but I realized to my horror after I had spent hours editing it that I had managed to actually not record probably the last half. So that was really great. Anyway, we're here to have another go again. So there is an Asian grocery shop near my house and the other day I found this item of interest for sale there. This is a candy sushi making kit. I did actually learn Japanese, but it was a long time ago and I've never really had a use for it. But what this says on the front is Tanoshi or Sushi Yasan, which I believe loosely translates to Fun Mr. Sushi Shop. Please forgive my yucky nails. Here it says make and eat and down here it says that it is grape flavoured. It makes candy sushi. There are instructions on the back, which are, as you can see, all in Japanese. I don't cook, I don't bake, I suck at those things. I'm just not gifted that way, as many people are. You know, if children can do this, I can do this, okay? Let's have a go at Fun Mr. Sushi Shop, and let's make some candy sushi. Here's the little tray and all the sachets inside and each thing makes a different part of the sushi. And this is supposed to look quite realistic. Okay, so the first thing we do, we put some water into this little dish here that says number one. If you want to do this, there are websites that have the instructions in English. So first we take our gohan no moto, which is, gohan means rice, so this is the powder that makes the rice. And this is supposed to look quite a lot like real rice, they say. Did that look like rice to you? What do you think? I'm not so sure. It smells delicious though. First we're going to make some tamago, which is egg. I don't know if you can see. Oops, I've just put water on it. But that there has egg pattern on it. Like, if you've ever eaten egg sushi, it always has that pattern on it for some reason. This here says tamago no moto, so we mix this with the water and it will give us our egg looking jelly. The next thing we're going to make is tuna. And this is the little tuna jelly sachet. The kit comes with this little dropper for added water to stuff. The next part is where the real magic happens. So we've got these two sachets here. Ikura no moto B and this is Ikura no moto A. Can you see those? The little tray is marked as to which one to put where, so I'm just going to pour them into each <coughs> thing with my strength. There we go. And now I'll put in B very carefully. This is the one that makes the salmon roe, okay? So salmon eggs. So what we do here is we take the little dropper and we suck up some of the orange stuff and drop it into the blue stuff. We're going to make salmon eggs from jelly. Are you seeing this shit? This is so cool! Look at it! It says to drop them from a height of about three centimeters. Now while everything's setting, I'm going to make the seaweed. And that is so we can make our salmon row sushi. There's actually instructions on the back here of how to do it. And that there is the size guide annoyingly wrapped around the corner. The size guide for how big we need to make the seaweed. And that's the seaweed there. 
Then I'm gonna massage my, my seaweed. This has the potential to go very badly. It looks like it kind of wants to crack and fall, fall to pieces. Like I said, if children can do it, I can do it. Maybe. That looks about right. Okay, good -o. Now I've got my beautiful seaweed. These are kind of like plates, I guess, so I'm going to use these <laughs> to dish up my beautiful sushi and construct it. Last thing I can make, if I wish, and I'm going to, is soy sauce. Candy soy sauce. That's not weird at all. See in there? It says mizu, which means water, so I've already put some water inside. And Okay, so now I'm going to try and actually construct the sushi. As you can see from the box, it makes four different kinds of sushi. So we've got the salmon roe sushi, tuna, egg, and this is combination sushi. Make a little squishy ball thing. How's that? It does kind of look like rice, doesn't it? That's actually pretty weird. No, I tipped it in the soy sauce by accident. Look at that! It actually looks like egg. Like egg sushi. Which, as we all know, for some reason looks nothing like actual egg. Ta-da! I made one! Now I'll make a tuna one. Ah, it actually looks like tuna! It actually looks like tuna! Okay, ah, Okay, so they don't like to stand up. Stay. Stay. Okay, next I'm going to make the salmon row. We're going to take this beautiful piece of seaweed and wrap it around this beautiful piece of rice. Oh, nearly. No, it broke. It broke. Uh. Take some more away. Okay, please work. Please work. Please look cute and delicious for me. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty hideous. But what we do now is we scoop. Oh my god, these are so cute! Look at them! Oh. Stick them on here. Oh look at it. I think that's I think that's not too bad. Let's see if I can get some more on. LOL. Lastly, we make the combination sushi, which basically we just stick everything that remains together. So what we really make is just a mess. So basically, I think we just take the remaining stuff and just like chop it up or whatever and stick it on this. I don't know. I don't know. But okay. Combination sushi, aka we couldn't think of a fourth idea, so... Do you have a favourite kind of sushi? My favourite is ebi nigiri. I like um, prawn, prawn sushi. Yep, so basically the last piece is just a giant blob of what? Oh, it's beautiful. It's an absolute work of art. Look at that. Wow. Last thing we do is... I'm going to take some soy sauce in our little dropper. And some soy sauce on top. Candy sauce. Delicious sushi candy. Uh. Yeah. I guess the only thing left to do now is to eat them. Let's go in order that we made them. Take a last look at our be beautiful tamago sushi thing. These are so yum. These taste so nice. They are grape flavoured. It's like it's an extremely artificial grape flavour. The rice is a really nice, quite pleasing texture. Here's our tuna sushi. My hands are getting all messy and slimy. Take a look before it's gone. Mmm. 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 Delicious. It's actually pretty slimy. I've got so much jelly goo on my fingers. I washed my hands 
after I finished making them. You didn't see me do that, but I did. Tell me if you've ever made one of these before and how it went for you. There are actually quite a few of these different candy kits. I would eventually like to try them out. Would you like to see me do that? Because there are some really weird ones. <laughs> There's like make your own candy burger and the one that's like spaghetti and vegetables and stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me as we tested out the candy sushi making kit from Japan. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to my lovely channel. I make videos twice weekly. Become a belfry bat. <laughs> Sound effects. For some reason. Take care of yourselves and be nice to each other and I'll see you next time. Bye.